Today here on Blue Shift Ministries, I want to talk about the demonic drug marijuana. Uh, viewer discretion is advised, and I know maybe I shouldn't say that for this video, but I'm going to because we're going to go deeper into this demonic demon because everyone, especially children, they're taking this subject way too lightly. And I feel people taking it way too lightly because marijuana is a demonic demon. Let's go deep into this. Marijuana, this demonic demon is related to the demonic entities of Hindu, Vishnu, Sri Lanka, these morbid demonic gods from the Hindu, the India region. What is the connection? Their connections with marijuana, it hits the pituitary gland in the mind. Once that gland is hit in the mind, it makes all kinds of hallucinogens. Remember, marijuana is a hallucinogen drug, believe it or not. There are many drugs of hallucinogens from those regions, from India, from the mountains of China. They're from a flower, they're from a plant. And these issues are used for demonic purposes to see into other realms, but those are demonic realms. And now it has been bought here. Now they have different names for it. Cannabis, whichever it is. The devil is the devil and the devil has many names. Don't forget that. The devil will use many different names to suit your ego, to suit your, oh, it's okay because it's not called marijuana. It's called cannabis, so it's okay. I can use it. The devil will always do that. It's the same evil. It's the same evil. It's the same source of the same old dragon trying to wreck everyone's life. Make no mistake of that. So as you use this drug, even if it's for medicinal purposes, what it's doing is dumbing down your senses. And it's making you feel that everything is okay when everything's not okay. And it'll start to turn you into a very dumb-witted individual thinking that it's everything's okay. It also establishes a homosexuality of desire situation because the demonic gods such as Vishnu, such as Hindu, such as all of these Indian gods, they are very homosexual. They believe that they are both sexes. They are very transgender. They are very homosexual. They are very lesbian. They are very in two worlds, in two waters. So what these drugs are doing is dumbing your senses down to the point that you pretty much have sex with anyone, anything, when you're on that high scale of using this demonic drug. Then sometimes you wonder, oh my God, you have desires for, you're a man, you have desires for men. Oh my God, you have desires for women, you're a woman. When no, it's the drug you're using, that's what it does. It dumbs down the senses, it makes everything okay, and it's not. This is a very dangerous demonic drug because once you start feeling that everything's okay and everything's all right and everything's going to be all right when nothing will ever be all right only through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the David and Jehovah Jireh in heaven the devil comes in and he starts introducing first everything's going to be all right then he starts introducing homosexuality oh it's okay everything's okay everything's going to be all right then it goes deeper into other things these demonic gods also encourage bestiality that's very nasty and evil that's an abomination so you see, it keeps going deeper and deeper. It also introduces cannibalism. That's very nasty. That's an abomination. So you see, it goes deeper and deeper. Everyone thinks that marijuana is a safe drug. There's no such thing as a safe drug. There's no such thing as a legal drug because once you legalize one, you legalize them all. You start using marijuana, cocaine is right around the corner. You start using marijuana, crack is right around the corner. You start using marijuana, everything and all things. It's like opening a sewer gate. It's all around the corner. You are inheriting that even if you're not of a Hindu or descent or that particular region, you're not even from that region, but what happens when you're using their drug, you're using their item, you're using their demonic item, you're using their demonic tool, you inherit all of those curses from that bloodline because you're using their demonic drug, you're using their items, you're using their tools. You're picking up a very, very dangerous tool that you do not know how to use and that you can only know how to use it when you use a drug. So that's a demonic trade you're making. You don't want to learn how to use 
anything with the devil. You never want to use the tool of the devil because you, you're going to get wrapped up with it. You never want to be a slave to Satan because you're going to get so wrapped up. And now you also your children, your bloodline. How many times have you used a drug and then your children started using it? How many times have you used a cigarette and your children started using it? How many times have you done anything and your children just copy it? So you see how it grows.